Denny Rickards is an expert at fishing lakes and reservoirs. He gives classes and lectures at sports shows on the techniques he's developed for catching trophy-sized trout. For me, the most important line on still waters is the intermediate line. Why is it so important? Because the intermediate, which is this line right here, sinks at about an inch per second up to maybe an inch and a half. It will keep your fly at the depth that fish feed at for the longest period of time. When we go to a lake we've never fished before, even if you don't know that lake, what you have to consider is where the fish are going to be. And the fish always feed in shallow water because it's the greatest food bearing region of any lake. This line goes down about an inch to an inch and a half per second and allows you to use any retrieve you want to use and still holds you in that zone. Let's give you an example of what I'm talking about. If you use a fast sinking line that goes down three inches per second, let's assume that the fish are underneath that water from four to six feet. That's 24 inches between four to six feet down. That 24 inches, if you're using a fast sinking line that goes down three inches per second, if your mathematics are the same as mine, you only have eight seconds, folks, in which to hold that fly in that zone. Why is that important? Because once that fly passes below the fish, trout never look down for their food. They only look up. So let's look at it a different way. If you guys go out and you make a long cast, 50, 60 feet, let's say you can make a 60 foot cast. If I use a retrieve at this speed like this and I bring that fly back through the water, how far can I retrieve the fly and keep that fly in that zone or above the fish so that they see it? I'll give you maybe 10 feet max. You know what that means? That means the last 50 feet of your retrieve, if you're in clear water, is going to be wasted. So we spend a lot of time every day doing this, casting, and doing this, retrieving, and we're not really effectively fishing the water. So the intermediate line, because of its slow sink rate, will hold you in that zone for the longest period of time. And that's why this line is so critical. If we take considerations such as fast sinking lines, why do we use a fast sinking line? Most people think that we want to get the fly down to the bottom right away. Well, if the fish are suspended in that zone, they don't have breaks to them. And when they go down, they're going to go right through that zone. So just think in terms, when you're fishing lakes, the most effective line for you is going to be a line that's going to keep you in that zone where fish are going to see it. Another line to consider is the floating line. And one of the reasons why a lot of folks like to use floating lines is because we're either fishing adult insects or we're fishing emergers right at the top of the water. And a floating line does that better than the other line that we can use. We can also use nymphs that are weighted and let them sink all the way to the bottom and bring them back in a very short, quick action, okay? But when we're talking about floaters, the good thing is it keeps our fly above the water in that top surface zone. But you guys that use woolly buggers or leeches out there, and I see this all the time, when you make a cast and that line's on the water, floating lines, remember, were never meant to be retrieved through the water like this. Because you see what happens on our line out there, we're causing surface disturbance on the water. And every time I move this, it leaves little ringlets and that just tells the fish that we're there. Okay, Floating lines were meant to put the cast on the water and let them set. So we're not thinking in terms of retrieving. And if you guys are retrieving them through the water, all you're doing is putting fish down. Again, that's why we use the intermediate because it gets just below the surface. Another disadvantage to floating lines is when you put them out in the water like this, folks, and you get wind, you're going to get a bow and it's going to look something like that. And that bow is going to cause drag, just like it does in a stream or a river. And when that line is starting to bow down, down across the water in the lake, what happens to our fly? It's moving in an unnatural manner. So think in terms, if you're going to use a floating line, only use it for, for adult insects, for emergers, unless you want to use a weighted fly, such as a chronomid, and you want to bring it back in a hand, twist, retrieve, that sort of thing. That's what floating lines are for. But always remember the conditions that you face when you're on a lake, that's the real key consideration, because that'll dictate what line you want to use. A third line that we use on lakes has to do with the still water line. What is the advantage to this line? When you guys pick up this fly and you false cast over fish, you notice that there's no reflecting light here because it's all clear. When you get a high sun like we've got right now in flat water, this is the best line to use. The disadvantage for me is the fact that it sinks about three inches per second instead of about an inch per second. And it has a little memory to it. Even though it's early in the morning or whatever, you'll try to stretch this out and get that memory out. But here's the real key advantage for the line. When I make my cast over spooky fish and I'm retrieving, the trout will not see your false cast, so they're not going to move away. 
And because this thing is all clear see-through, it's just like using a 90-foot leader. So I can retrieve, even though it's going down faster than I want, I can still retrieve this line fairly slow or I can bring it back fast. Another thing to consider, folks, when you're fishing different times of the year, early in the year, our warmer water is going to be deep, so remember that. So the trout will tend to be deeper in the water in the spring. This line becomes an excellent choice. If we're using pastel colored lines, folks, such as your reds, your greens, your oranges, all those other colored lines, every time you false cast over fish, it's going to reflect light. And the fish will see that and will tend to put them down. That's, again, the advantage to this line. You can false cast over fish and not scare them. Okay? So let's think about the fourth type of line that I use on lakes, and that has to do with the faster sinkers. A lot of us like to use those because they get the fly down of the fish quicker. But let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of what that looks like. When we talk about fast sinking lines, folks, there's a lot of different lines to stop and consider. I think probably the most useful for me on still waters is what we call a uniform sink two or three, and I prefer the two. You'll know the difference. This is a line that's made by scientific anglers, but you'll know the difference because the color segments are much like a sink tip. The advantage of this line is it's going to take your fly down to the fish without the belly, without the sag. And because this line will sink about three, two and a half to three inches per second, it allows me to fish most of the lakes that I want to fish. And folks, I don't want to get real deep down there. A lot of you guys might like to fish real deep lakes, but I find that most of the lakes I fish are what we call fairly shallow lake or high desert lakes. Those where the fish are going to go very fast. So this line allows me to reach those zones or those depths without necessarily hanging the bottom. And even if I'm on the bottom, I can still work the line in this manner or jig it up, let it drop back down and still be effective. So for me, when I'm fishing lakes, I'm really looking at about four lines. And even though I won't use them all, all the time, I have them at, as an arsenal and I have them at my disposal. But let me leave you with this one really key point. When we're talking about lines on still water, I think far and away, 90% of my time will be spent using the intermediate fly line. When conditions get tough, we want to go to that all clear line. As, or even early in the year, you can use the uniform sink two or three or the all clear line, the still water line. The only time I'm going to use a floating line is when I want to fish adult insects or those that are in the surface film or if I want to get that chronomid or a weighted mayfly down on the bottom, then I'll use it for those purposes. This is just one of many lessons you'll get from Denny. They're truly worth remembering if you want to catch more fish on lakes and reservoirs.